joined by the manager FC United, Manchester, Carl Martinson. Carl, a uh, 4-1 defeat at home. I think that's probably uh, FC's record defeat. How do you feel after that one? Gutted. Um, you know, experienced players letting letting us down after you know they're the ones you count on to provide you with that bit of um, consistency. And um, it's gone from Saturday, still the same team virtually, and it's you know so. Um, you know, that I pick the players, but they've got to, they, they've got to carry some of the can there, and you know, take some responsibility on themselves because that looked, obviously wasn't anywhere near good enough. It seemed frustrating because from the word go, and Swarbrick was proving a danger down the right. Uh, FC looked uh, dangerous up front with Patterson, but then they seem to always do a bit better on the counter. Yeah, that's because the defending was absolutely woeful. It wasn't even school, but it was just you know to go from a team that didn't look like conceding on Saturday to go. So now every time the ball went forward in that first half, you know, I felt sorry for Swab, but it was a tactical one where I felt we needed to tighten up in the middle of the park. The defence was fat, sat far too deep, so then the, the midfielders couldn't get close to anybody, and they were just running again. The first you know? goal, uh, you got to question Sam Ashton's uh, position yeah, Sam, for the you goal. Know, individual errors, again, have, have cost us. Um, you know, but they, they part, they say part and parcel of football, they need to grow up quickly. Sam's been here now for a, a season, and you know, he's an honest enough lad and he'll, um, he'll, he'll grow and learn from it. Some of the other ones, you know, I've got real, real big question marks about them now. Well, you, you mentioned the, the, uh, the, where the line was, I mean, uh, the, the second goal. Uh, what, what was your thoughts when the, their number 11 got the ball past Foster on the on the left wing and took it in? Well, there's, there's absolute acres, isn't there? There's absolutely acres and that's, you know, Dave Swalbrick's not played for a long time and he's, you know, like, probably been caught out of position. Um, having said that, you know, Two lads in the middle of the park, and we're not close to anybody at all. All, all yeah. game, you know, the, the two lads on, who on Saturday did fantastically well yeah. today weren't anywhere near. And they're the experienced lads who've been been with the club now for a good two seasons and, and should know better. And obviously at three 0 you you know you've taken a gamble and uh, uh, you know you've, you've brought off yeah. the, the full backs, put on a few a couple of uh, forward uh, thinking players, and been caught there. Was that was that just a stick or twist situation? Yeah, I think so. Um, I wanted to give young Theo a run, see yeah. him in training, um, you know, and we'll see see how he, he goes. Um, but Kane and I thought, you know, I thought the forward lads um, were the only right backs. I thought Kane didn't stop working. There was times where he was at left back position. You know, he he, he gave his all for the team, and I think he, he deserved his goal tonight. Um, uh, Rory Rory does. What he does, you know, like he, he's um, proved a handful all, all night long, not not giving in. Um, but some of them have just, for me, have just laid down and died there, and I'm not having that. I mean, got to hand it to Bradford, especially their fourth goal. It, it looked very good attacking move from where I was. Standing. Anybody could have scored against us tonight. Anybody, yeah. it was it was terrible. You know, as as a defensive showing, that's nowhere near, nowhere near. What will you be working on now in training before Saturday? Uh, defending. It's funny because on Saturday we, we, yeah. we worked on finishing. Yeah. You know, so how, how does that one work? Are you working on um, our finishing? We had a good crossing finishing session on Monday and now tomorrow, obviously. Um, but they should know better. They should know what they've done wrong. Um, and they need to bounce back. Trying to look at a positive, I suppose. You could say that we're out of all uh, major cup competitions now. Um, you've <laughs> got to have bright hopes. Positive, you know, <laughs> no, but, but I mean, you've got to have bright hopes in the league with a, a clear, a clear run and a clear run to the um, I have as long as they, uh, they get that consistency. Um, and they haven't, to be honest. Some of them are on li- living on better time. They haven't got that time. You know, I, I put all my faith in them and brought them up to this level without going out and making wholesale changes. Um, I truly believe, and I still do believe, that they are good enough to play in this at this division. But if they don't go out there and, and prove me right, I'm going to have to get so, someone else in that, that is going to do that. Well, Carl, let's just hope for better for Saturday. Yeah, thanks cheers. for your time. Thanks a lot.